Hello and welcome back to Ms. Ma's grade 11 functions class. This is 4.5 and 4.6 exponential functions, part 2. So if you haven't uh, watched part 1, you should go back and watch that first. Okay, so let's get started. Example B, compare and contrast f of x equals 9 to the x and g of x equals 3 to the 2x. So of course we've noticed, uh, first of all, that these have different bases and they have different transformations. But um, if you think about these two graphs, and if you drew them out, you would see that actually they have the exact same graph. And this is because 3 to the 2x is like 3 to the 2 to the x, which is 9 to the x. So they do have the same graph, and we can just write that there. And uh, so it's just something to keep in mind that even though, you know, they might look very different, they might actually be, um, you know, they might actually have the same graph on the grid. Okay. So, last example, example C. An ex exponential function with a base of 2 has been stretched vertically by a factor of 1.5 and reflected in the y-axis. Its asymptote is the line y equals 2 and has a y-intercept of 0, 3.5. So, okay, let's start with this. A base of 2, so that means we're starting with y equals 2 the x, and it says it's stretched vertically by a factor of 1.5, so they know that this is going to be a and reflected in the y-axis. Now remember, the y-axis means that it is going to be a horizontal uh, dilation. So that is going to be k equals negative 1. Oops. And its asymptote is the line y equals 2. Remember that the asymptote is really the up and down shift. So that means that c is equal to 2. Um, and so we're going to try plugging this in without a d and see if that really gives us this y-intercept. If it didn't, then we would have to solve for d. So let's plug it in. So we'll try it. y equals 3 over 2, because that's 1, 1. 1.5, times 2 to the negative x plus 2. And we're just going to substitute this x and this y. So we want to check 3.5 equals is it 1.5 times 2 to the negative 0 plus 2? And 2 to the 0, of course, is 1. So actually, yeah, that is 3.5, and we're good to go. If we didn't know, like if this didn't end up being the correct answer, we could always try this. We would just plug in y equals 3 over 2 times 2 to the, and I'm going to assume that it's the d, um, because that's the only one that has been mentioned in the actual question. And then you would just fill it in, 3.5 equals 3 over 2. And you can solve it this way as well. Negative 0 minus d plus 2. So you can move this over and we'll get 1.5 on this side equals 1.5 times 2 to the d. And you can see that I divide this, so it gives 1 equals 2 to the d, and so um, this is 2 to the 0 equals 2 to the d, so d is equal to 0. So we were right. Okay? So that is going to be the equation. It is y equals 3 over 2, y uh, times 2 to the negative x plus 2. That is our equation, and we checked it in two ways. And for the domain and range, we can see there is no reflection on the um, vertical. So it doesn't affect the range that way, but it is moved up to... Actually, let's talk about the horizontal first. So horizontal domain is x and r, and it never changes because anything you do to it, it can't change. It's going to be the infinite um, domain. And then range, so we just move it up to, but the um, stretch doesn't affect it. So y is in r, such that y is greater than 2, and that is our domain in our range. Okay, so that was 4.5 and 4.6. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in class.